Hey, what's going on, people of YouTube? How you all doing? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. And welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series where yours truly goes through all the football media headlines, looking for stuff related to Chelsea, consolidate it, present it to you guys as a package, offering my opinion, and actually also, more importantly, requesting your opinion on the headlines, and we basically talk about it together. And believe it or not, dude, today I have five stories that I want to talk about, which is quite a lot. First up, I want to talk about Chelsea's Brazilian-Italian midfielder Jorginho and his potential exit this summer. Certainly his agent's been talking yet again about clubs who want him and not Italian clubs. Who the hell wants Jorginho then? Next up, a shout out for Mario Pasolic, the midfielder that's never played for Chelsea's first team, but Chelsea have just sold him to Atalanta, flipped him for a good profit, more money in the transfer kit. Kitty, mate. I do want to give an update on Jadon Sancho who, although he's desperate for a move to the Premier League, either United or Chelsea, does look like he might have to stay in Dortmund because they won't budge financially even in a crazy financial market. So, you know, we'll talk about that. It feels like a blast in the past now, but it wasn't so long ago Chelsea were being linked with Samuel Chiquese. It's come up in the media again how he could be a rotational winger, this kind of profile of player Chelsea are looking for. And Chiquese is actually so, so highly rated by the people who watch him closely. Could he be the one for Chelsea? And another one I want to talk about today that's been around the media again. At first I was reluctant to, but I thought, you know what, Frank Lampard has actually spoken about this player himself in a press conference in January, talking about, yes, I am thinking about him. And that is, of course, Moussa Dembele. I prefer other options, but he surfaced again as a Lampard priority. So there's a lot to get through, man. I'm going to try and do it in a streamlined manner to keep it clear and concise for you guys. But I just want to insert a quick reminder to you guys to sub to this channel if you've not yet done so i upload chelsea content every single day if you want to keep up please do subscribe hit that bell notifications icon please and why not drop a like on this video please to help us out go on mate all right let's get into it right let's start with Jorginho, chelsea's vice captain a apparently very important player for frank lampard he really likes Jorginho. functional player can often be very good a lot of people can sort of see him as a replaceable player. I'm not gonna offer my opinion on that now. I'm gonna let you know he's in the media today, the Chelsea News headlines ting, because his agent just keeps talking. He's been talking about, yeah, of course, Sari likes him. He's a big admirer of him. He suppose you could go out to Juventus. But other clubs have been contacting me two big non-Italian European clubs as well. Jorginho's agent is really playing the field at the moment. Although Chelsea and Frank Lampard really like Jorginho, and I think seemingly Jorginho likes Chelsea, and he's won the fans over, remember? Stamford Bridge sing his name, and it was after like a load of turmoil in his early time at Chelsea, so it's a feel-good story, but could he still go? Some money, like, if Chelsea do want to sell him, they got to make their money back, especially if he's a man in demand, even in a financially difficult market. For me, they've got to at least make their money back, but there's prices coming out like 35 million, which would be a big loss, like a 20 million pound loss. Granted, I know Jorginho had uh, an inflated price tag due to the Sari acquisition. It was a complicated deal where Napoli would only release Sari to Chelsea if they bought Jorginho for more money than City would. Do you see what I mean? So there might be an inflated value there, but still, at least break even. We'll have to see what happens, but his agent's been talking, and there's a very real chance Chelsea might sell Jorginho. Right, next up, Mario Pasolic. Still only 25, he's been at Chelsea for a long time, has never featured for the first team, but has been on loan in uh, Serie A, playing for Atalanta, and he's been playing very, very well in what is a very exciting and attacking team in the shape of Atalanta. They've exercised their option to buy the midfielder for 13.5 million pounds, which is actually really decent considering Chelsea bought the player for a little over uh, two million pounds a few years ago so that's a big handsome profit comfortably over 10 million pounds that should go straight into the Chelsea transfer kitty hopefully for this summer and the player will have a nice time over there he's a good buy for everyone it's kind of a feel-good transfer story in many ways especially considering he never actually played for Chelsea He's settled, he's found his club. So big up, Mario Pasolic. Boom, 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 moving on man to Jadon Sancho. Like I said at the top of the video, he is desperate for a move of the Premier League. He's having a wicked time in Dortmund, and I don't think he's got a problem with the club, but 
He knows he probably fancies his abilities now to be in English football, the highest level of football at the Premier League, even though he's so young. He'll see his mates in like Tammy, you know, Rashford, Hudson, the Doy, all playing in the Premier League, and he'll want a slice of that pie. He does want to come. It will be either Manchester United or Chelsea in all likelihood. And incidentally, they're the only two clubs that's been stated for this transfer window who have the ability and financial power to spend the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham, uh, and even Liverpool in many ways don't have that much money to spend. United and Chelsea do, but I don't think they have enough for what Dortmund are asking for. Dortmund will not go under £100 million for the winger. And I get it, probably Sancho should be worth over £100 million maybe, in terms of the numbers he's been posting, the age, the nationality, all the things that generally govern a price tag. So maybe he'll have to stay at Dortmund, his contract is running down, but if the financial market gains health again next summer and he plays really, really well, maybe they'll get over £100 million. Chelsea got 120 plus million for Hazard with 12 months left on this deal and he'll be years and years older than Sancho. Maybe they'll be backing themselves to still get a massive fee or over 100 million next summer. We will have to see but it is very likely or looking likely now that perhaps Jadon Sancho will stay put this summer. Right, let's get on to the two players that have been linked with Chelsea recently. Again, Samuel Chakwezi, the 21-year-old Villarreal winger from Nigeria. Now, if you know Chakwezi and you've looked at him, you probably know he's a very, very good player. Very highly rated indeed. Doesn't post incredible numbers. He is playing for Villarreal, but he's, no, he's not like a scoring or assisting machine. Often plays as a sort of wide mid as well as a wide forward. But the thing is with Chakwezi, He's rated as one of these footballers that can become incredibly special. Now, Chelsea know this. Chelsea seem to know all players that are good and up and coming around world football. Chakwezi has been linked with Chelsea before and he's been surfaced again with that kind of nauseating headline, Jadon Sancho alternative. If you know me, you'll know that I think Jadon Sancho as a profile of player is an unnecessary purchase for Chelsea. Chelsea are looking for a winger that can won't necessarily expect to start. And to be honest, Samuel Chakwezi does fit the bill in that sense. Young up and coming will be happy to come to the club for its profile and pay rise, but won't expect to start over Pulisic and Hakim Ziyech. Now, I'm not overly keen on the prospect of this target. Personally, I've got other preferences like Saeed Benrahma, a player that I've been looking at closely recently. Check out my video I did yesterday on him. And also he's playing in English football as well and it's less of a risk. But a lot of reputable journalists and publications are saying Chelsea are indeed looking at Samuel Chakwezi and have been for a while. So he's a very real option that's resurfaced. But we'll have to see what happens. You can imagine he'll be a lot cheaper than Saeed Ben Rama, and he'll be coming from Spain's first division rather than England's second division. Anyway, we'll have to see. I'll, of course, keep you guys updated on the wingers' story. And as one hopefully floats closer to Stamford Bridge, I can let you guys know and see what you think about the stories. Right, Moussa and Bele. The thing is, right, let's talk about. Okay, right, all right. We know Chelsea are very much in for a striker, a centre forward to help out Tammy Abraham, and, you know, it's likely that Michy Batshuayi goes out the door, some, or someone goes out the door, either him or Giroud, Chelsea make a bit of money, and they're looking to bring in a different striker to help out the forward line. Now, Moussa Mbele does fit the bill. It was looking like for a while he was going to cost Chelsea too much money, but he is a target of Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard was questioned about this player in the January transfer window, and he confirmed, yes, he is a player who I'm thinking about. And the newspapers today and the publications and outlets are saying he is a priority target for Chelsea and Frank Lampard because he's played in English football, which is good. I mean, you could say the same about Saeed Benrahma from a winger's perspective. Granted, it's in the championship, but it's still the physicality of English football. I think Frank Lampard likes that from Moussa Dembele. If you ask me, of all the strikers we've looked at throughout the last couple of months or so, or few months even, I would probably prefer Victor Ossimhen because he's a bit younger, he seems to score different kind of goals, his numbers are actually a little bit better than Moussa Dembele, but still, apparently, as a priority target, it is Moussa Dembele. Obviously, Manchester United are very much in for the player as well, and he could cost a lot of money, but if his price comes down, if Leon are a little bit more realistic with his transfer fee, 
he could still be coming to Chelsea. Again, not a personal favourite of mine, there's other players I'd want on top, but I, like many of you, would just want to see reinforcements in this Chelsea squad, and if the gaffer in Frank Lampard wants this player, gets this player, that can only be a good thing for Chelsea Football Club, right? But anyway, what do you lot think? I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions and all the stories that I have spoken about in today's video, so let's take it from the top. Jorginho, where could he be going? How do you feel about it? Are you happy for him to leave? What if Chelsea, say, make £40 million in Jorginho and the loss, you can just say, that was the acquisition of Sarri? Let me know your thoughts on that. Let me, let me know your thoughts also on the linked players, Moussa Dembele, Samuel Chakwesi. Do you think Jadon Sancho is going to stay at Dortmund this season? And to be honest, you don't really have to offer your opinion on Mario Pasolic because it's a nice little Bunsen burner. <laughs> <laughs> but let me know what you think about the linked players. Give me your opinion. I'll be down in the comment section below. So let's start up the conversation. If you've enjoyed the content I've provided you in this video today, guys, please do like the video. Support the movement, man. Why not subscribe to Football Therapy? If you're new to the channel, you are welcome also to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter, man. That's it from me. You lot enjoy the football that's starting up soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me baby.